Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah I know people often get tired of hearing about Tawheed and Shirk but as we know Tawheed the call to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we practice and implement that in our lives that's the purpose of the creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wal ins illa li abdun. I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping them. That means that that's our divine purpose, is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And this is what all the NBA, all the prophets, alayhim afdu salatu wa salam, were sent with the same message to worship Allah alone and not and to avoid shirk in all of its forms. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَلَكَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُضُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا الْتَعْبُودِ That we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid uh, those things worship, that are worshipped besides uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning avoid shirk, avoid kufr, avoid what displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's the minhaj al nabuwa that is the prophetic uh, methodology and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem which is a warning a stern warning against shirk he says inna allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bi wa yaghfir ma duna dhalika liman yasha verily allah does not forgive that you inna allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bi verily allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases Letting us know the call to Tawheed. Letting us know to avoid shirk, to avoid uh, worshipping others alongside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah or other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives Tawheed its utmost importance and shirk, avoiding shirk its utmost importance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with Him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us again with Tawheed and the avoidance of shirk. So this is why our utmost priority will remain to call to Tawheed, to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and call to avoid shirk. That doesn't mean all the other aspects of Islam because that is the asal of Islam is Tawheed and, and the avoidance of shirk. Everything is built upon that. Your five pillars, everything. Your iman, what is what is iman? What did the Prophet Sallallahu say when asked about iman? He said, he said, Al iman in tu'minu and tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al akhir wa tu'minu bi qadri khayri wa shar. The Prophet Sallallahu responded when asked about iman, he said, it's to believe in Allah and tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi and his angels wa kutubihi and his books wa rusulihi and his messengers wa tu'minu bi khayrihi wa tu'minu bi yawm al-akhir and to believe in the day of judgment and to believe in the divine destiny the good and the evil of it meaning al-qadr and we notice that the first pillar of Iman is what? It's Tawheed. And, ta and Tu'mina Billahi, it's believing in Allah. And all that comes with that, that means that's all the aspects of Tawheed. That means worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As is mentioned also in the same hadith, when we talk about how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu was asked about Ihsan. He said, and ta'budu allaha ka'annaka tara. فَإِن لَمْ تُكُمْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاك The Prophet ﷺ was asked about uh, Ihsan. You know, what is, what is righteousness or, or goodness? What is this concept, Ihsan? The Prophet ﷺ said, إِن تَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ And it's to worship Allah. إِن تَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَى As if you see Him. And because you can't see Him, know that He subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman and Ahl Tawheed or Ahl Sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.